All right, we're gonna look at walls on a Mac using our mini workflow for walls here. So the couple things you wanna notice here. First of all, um, I have a baked wall. I'm just gonna delete that. Another baked wall, I'm gonna delete that. If I, uh, very simply here, if I move points up and down, it's gonna change my wall in relation to its elevation, just by moving these spots. If I want to um, change it in plan, I can go to my top view and I maybe select my, my curves. I'm holding shift and then I'm gonna select the points and move everything together. So I'm moving the spot points and the curve points of those walls. Everything is associated um, with one another because of the way the wall tool works. It's going to look at things in plan and associate them with a curve according to its proximity to that curve. So if I select a point and I move this point far enough, oops, I'm still showing the curve points. If I move this point far enough away, it won't associate with that curve anymore. And then when I see the when I see the grading, it's going to, it's essentially using these points. So whatever, whatever points are, um, you know, closest. So if I undo and I move that point closer again, it looks like I have a point here. That's not close enough. Delete that. Um, the other thing, and so that, that value actually gets changed up here, the topo or the wall spot tolerance. So if I turn this spot tolerance up too high, though, it's suddenly going to, it looks like it's doing okay. Oh yeah, it kind of breaks and it starts to associate, uh, it, it starts to overcompensate for, for my um, points. So we want to make sure that that is a small number that's very close to the curve. Now the... Um, while curve tolerance, if I turn this up, if I turn this way down, this is going to make the walls go away because the walls have to be close enough, each curve, the front and the back, have to be close enough to create a wall. So if I move this to two, it's now going to be inclusive. If I made this number too big, it might start to connect curves that don't belong together. The um, Looking at the other parameters that we have, and other geometries. So one thing that's really important here in this little mini workflow is this patch boundary. And the patch boundary is on the patch layer. And I'm, I'm looking at the, you know, these are my layers and then these are, this is my grasshopper control panel here. Um, if I, if I move this point, it's going to change where that influence starts essentially for the for the wall so if i move it further out it's going to interpolate from way out here all the way up to there and i can move it back now if i wanted to get rid of that little weird kink i can move this out and it's it's essentially cutting right where that curve um, intersects with the surface in plan so if you look you can kind of see where these these grades, like if I move this really close, you can kind of see that those grades change um, according to that boundary. Now, the other thing to look for is the contour height. So we can change the, the density of the height of the contour. So I can make it half a foot or 0.1 feet or your, our usual one foot contour. There's topo max and min divisions, which allow you to change the fidelity of the mesh. Um, so if you have a very large site, you may want to turn those values up to scale up. And if it's a smaller site, you, you may get be able to get away with having smaller numbers so that it, it um, gives you a higher level of detail, but you, you don't want too high a level of detail at a much larger scale because what will happen is you'll have a very long processing time. 
Um, you can also change the uh, wall mesh color here. You can see how I can change that. And you can change the topo color that's going to get exported. So if I, if I hit bake, propose topo, it's gonna bake a gray topo, but I can change that to a red and hit propose topo and now it's red. So um, kind of fun. You can change the contour color, the wall color, and I just undid that. Yeah, so that's walls. And it, th this lets you interject a wall in any location on your site. Um, this can work really wonderfully in combination with other tools, like um, other geo set manipulations, like break lines and spots and contours. It can also work for things like smooth and grade and sculpt topography. And of course, it will work wonderfully with the areas tool and walls will actually cut out as areas in the area collage. Cool, well, I'm looking forward to seeing all the walls that you build. Thanks.